Hey guys, FJ Cuts here, and I'm back again with a video. Guys, I've been gone for so long. I mean, guys, do you guys even remember my face? Like, do you remember my face? Do you remember my face? Because if you don't, if you don't, then you ain't loyal. I mean, guys, we just hit 14k. So I was thinking, oh, maybe I should maybe come up with a little video before my exams do come. And, um, yeah, I was like, you guys have been asking me a lot, oh, how does he cut his own hair or where does he get his hair cut from? And I told you guys I cut my own hair, so let me come back with a little tutorial of how I cut my own hair or how I get my hair cut. Guys, you know, I'm looking kind of bummy right now because it's 4, 4.30 in the morning right now, guys, and I can't really sleep, so I'm going to do a self-cut video for you guys because, you know, I'm here to show you guys how to get the trim of FJ or how to get FJ trim. So yeah, I mean, yeah guys, so I'm gonna be kind of busy for a while. I'll be back probably June 18th because my exams, that's my last exam of the day. I'm gonna have my exams and then yeah, I'll be back full on on YouTube and yeah. So right now guys, I'm gonna show you guys how I cut my own yeah, so guys make sure you if you like this video hit like if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and yeah guys we're gonna do a giveaway at 20k so make sure if you're new you subscribe and yeah hope you enjoyed this video Peace. so guys um well what i use to cut my own hair guys is a self-cut system but not the actual self-cut system uh i actually made my own self-cut system i made it for my bt project design and technology project for product 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 design and yeah guys this is why i've been kind of busy as well guys because i've been doing my my projects like deadlines came up so i made this project for my coursework and as you can see it's one whole mirror then a mirror on each side so it helps you see the back of my head so if you look here guys you'll be able to see the back of my head you see that if you look into that mirror so if you look into that mirror it reflects these mirrors to see the back of your head so it helps me cut my own hair okay so yeah I, um you could just go buy the self-cut system that's on in like in store but if you guys want to know how to make your own self-cut system make sure you hit this video to 100 likes and i'll do a budget self-cut system like homemade and you can make it yourself so you can cut your own hair and yeah so i'm gonna be using this it has my one has lights guys uh lights and i designed the top with a laser cutter all made by mdf so it can all close up as you can see but yeah let me show you guys when it's turned on Boom. So guys, that is it with the lights on. So if you don't have sufficient lighting, look. So if you were the mirror right there, guys, look at the lighting, guys. It helps so much. See that? So you can see the lighting. It works up there. And yeah, so guys, if you do want to know how to make your own self-cut system, make sure you give the. I want this video to hit 100 likes. Okay, I'm kind of busy, so. If this video hits 100 likes, I'll do a self-cut system FJ homemade budget design. So, yeah, maybe I'll make something to put it on the website, guys, because you know I have a website running. If you just type in www.fjcuts.com, you will see it. make my first guideline and this guideline guys I, I do a low fade so I'll go from this little angle from where the lineup goes down to to where your side will go up to then I'll go all the way down to this backbone okay so just follow the, the steps that I'll be doing and you'll be fine Guys, you wanna, uh, as a tip, you wanna keep your line as straight as possible so you don't want no messy line because 
a messy line, a messy, sorry, a messy guideline will mess, like, will, it will be seen that your fade will be jagged up. So keep your line straight and equal. Make sure, I'm, I'm gonna do this side. I do this side. I leave the back for now, then I do this side and then I connect it at the end, okay? So it will be easier to do that rather than go all the way to the back, okay? So. Right now, guys, you're just trying to bold out the bot, the first line, okay? I must say, guys, the this self-cut system that I made is actually so useful, so... 100 likes and I'll show you guys how to make a budget one because this is so much easier than using a mirror at the back I, I do that as well I used to do that after I made this product but if you guys want to do if you guys want to see a video on that as well 150 likes because it's so hard to record and I tried doing it before but it's easier it's easy because I'm used to it but as when you're starting to cut your own hair and using the mirror one hand in and you're cutting it's harder because you'll take longer my first ever like, self cut took me about four hours guys Okay, drag four, three to four hours, but yeah, and now it takes me like an hour. So, guys, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but and me waffling and bears as well, like you know, Dr. Waffle. So, guys, I'm gonna do this side. See how I turn because I'm using this side of the mirror now. Uh, self cut system, guys. Trust me. I'll put it out. Oh guys, I completely forgot something. So as I was saying, the duck clips. Okay, um, if you want to, if you have a duck clip, you just what I do. Okay, it's easy if you use a comb, but with my hair, it's kind of short, so I use my hand and hold it up, and then I clip it. Okay, I clip it like that. Okay, you see? I like these duck clips, guys, because look, it has a rubber thing here. Rubber causes friction, so it holds the hair. So like, shoo, shoo, it won't move about. With a plastic one, and doesn't have those things, it just slides off. So this one is easier to use. See you guys how that I'm slowly doing the back, just slowly, and I'm connecting the lines, guys. I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but. Uh, let me use a mirror here. You guys can see. See? See how it's not center, guys. So I do. See, guys, I would usually just be using the mirror, but if so, you guys can see, I'm gonna use a mirror. A mirror here. Balding, uh, balding thing, balding shaper. So just skin out the part that we just shaved, that part that we just trimmed. And guys, here's a tip: if you are just starting to cut your own hair, don't go straight into skin fade. Like, don't if you just it's your first self cut, don't go straight into skin fade because that's where I messed up. Go into a 0 0.5 so just this don't go close open it and you're about you're, you're less likely to mess up so just practice keep practicing and when you're ready then you can bold it out then don't use this yet just close it as a skin fade then you can use this because this it requires a lot more skill so when you're more advanced then you should use this because lines will show guys if you if you're not looking like into detail when you're cutting your own hair so like when you get trim you no line should be seen so when you're cutting your own hair it's kind of you're more prone to getting these lines of what you don't really see especially if you don't have a soccer system that helps you cut your own hair so make sure you do take time and be careful god bless um so uh go back to the Leave hair here, so just go in with your trimmers and then trim these side bits. Let's 
<laughs> so what I do guys is I'll make a guideline half 0.5 from the 0 to 0, to 0 to 0 0.5 I'll make one guideline okay this guideline let's say is about one centimeter guys so make sure you follow this step correctly make sure it's clean and not jagged up okay because you will see it in the fade go in a flick up motion first guys until you, st you see cutting you don't want to flick up too high and then you make a uh, So you see what I've done guys is I, I used the 0.5 and I made the line. After I made the line I went back into it and tried to make it all even guys. So as you can see now. So I stopped there then I'm going to go to the other side and connect it. Simple. See? Simple. Then I'll show you how that's how I do the back. I would use these but I'll just show you. This is the same way I would do it with just a mirror and a mirror at the back. So one mirror here then you see the back and you reflect from side to side to see the back. If, if it's harder to see on this side I'll move it to that side. Simple. Lighting is key guys when you're cutting your hair because no lack of light is harder to see any hairs that you didn't cut and then you will be seen when you see when you're in the daylight so make sure lighting is key and you can see everything but if you don't just pop with it and try to see what you can see okay guys one and a half guard one and a half focus there's one and a half guard. It doesn't come in the clipper, okay? Like in the clipper set that this comes with, you're gonna have to buy it from your hair shop, okay? So use a half guard, opened, okay? Opened, I repeat. Open, not closed, open, open, okay? This side. Flick out motion, guys. You don't wanna dig in. As, as my hair, that hair here is kind of short guys, it won't cut as much but just just for fading purposes I use, still use it so just follow my lead if you have more hair here it's the best way guys It ain't cut as much guys and then Guys, I'm going with a two guard, then I flick it all the way to the top, okay? Opened, and then after opened, I go in and take off a little bulk, close. Um, so I start off with a one guard, as you can see. Focus on one guard. Okay. And what I do is I have it round about the middle, but I play with the level sometimes. So if I see a line, I'm going shorter, but I go with the longest first. So I have it open, then when I want to play and get rid of a line, I use half. And for this step, guys, I only use sorry. I use half of the blade, half of the blade, okay. So half of the guard. I don't go and flick in full, I flick half, okay. So I use the corner, mostly the corner or the half and I flick out that that first line okay so we're gonna be flicking out this 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 line that we made okay from the 0 0.5 to this 1.5 we're gonna flick out and fade this in okay but we're gonna go flicking with half of the <gasps> oh, shit what's what's up I'm just <laughs> I just screamed and it's four, five, eight, oh shit. Um, yeah, so it's just a little hang up from something. But, whew, guys, let's go. Let's go. 
and as I was saying, uh, you use half of the blade and you flick out that line there, okay? So, flick out motion, play around with the lever, 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 um, and you should be able to get that right line and don't be scared to flick out and go too high, I guess. So, what I, what I usually do, flick it out with that, then look, as you can see, I'm flicking out, flick out. So guys, I'm gonna soften out, soft, softening the line up. So I'm gonna go in closer with the lever. Keep going closer. We'll just pass halfway of the levers. Uh, range. See that? You see how he's getting rid of that um, line that we created? That guys that line is almost faded but I usually do before going too high I go with the 1.5 again then I go open guys instead of close I go open then I fade in that line still with the half half of the blade guys or half of the guard I use see that guys then I leave the back then I do the other side Guys, like I said, after I do flick out with, with that line and I do make another line, I go in with the 1.5, the next guard up, then I go in open, then I use the half of the thing to flick out that line, or I soften it, then you go back in with the one. See that guys? So after you do the sides, don't worry about the, the, that boarding line yet because that will go last. First, do this step and do it all the way around. So now I've got left is the back. So both sides is nearly done and I'm gonna do the side. I'm gonna do the back. Slide. It's gonna be kind of hard guys because I'm going to be showing you through this. So. So guys, I'm going with the, one, the, the 0 0.5. I'm just gonna clean up that that one line that I faded. Fade, fade with the lever, guys. Shortest the longest. <sighs> guys, I just finished um, fading that line, and so guys, yeah. Now we're gonna remove that boarding line to the 0 0.5, guys. And for this, guys, you wanna be very careful because you don't wanna flick. Up, and then you're gonna have to put you're gonna have to bring the fade higher so for this guys what I usually do is I just go in closed focus focus okay so I go in closed then I just flick with that corner guys and I flick out that corner so using that corner as you can see here focus okay focus so I just use the corner you can see I just use the corner and I flick it so just that corner and I flick it look what closed and then I flick watch the line disappear guys
guys, another tip. When you're flicking out, you're flicking out the line. You're not flicking it up, guys. You're flicking out the line. That's all you're doing. You don't want to make a, a line, another line. Just flick out the line, guys. Guys, I'm about again with the 0 0.5 and now same method. Then I just do the back guys, same procedure. So guys, that was my bad. And since it's five hour, I'm gonna show off here because I mean And then with a two guard, opened a flick up. And then for the corner guys, I sometimes use the, the, the side mirror to look at it so it's straight. Now, now the top bit is done guys, I do the side, turn in, then I go with the middle mirror. Other side, I'm going like that. Other side, I'm into the top.
Und dann bumm. Der no more fingers. I'm going with the alcohol. Spray on some tissue. And I, I dub it on. And I rub it around the whole head, guys. Then, yeah, that's it. I'll show you guys the final, and that's all you have to do, guys. I'm gonna show you guys the final outcome. Come back and look like I missed. I'm gonna start the top, and then I'm gonna show you guys what's the final product. This is the finished product, you know. I did some spray to make it look like I just came out of the barbers, but you know, guys, I, I do go barbers sometimes, but it's been a long time. But ever since that, like, I started to learn how to cut my own hair, I've improved upon it. And I know how to cut my own hair, so it's better if I cut my own hair because I know what style I want, what you don't want. It saves me a lot of money, guys. So yeah, what's the point of going to the barbers if you know how to cut your own hair? So yeah, guys, this is the finished product. Guys, I know you can see the difference. So let me show you the, the, the before. Look, look at it now. And then, boom, guys, I mean, look at it, guys. Let me do a 360 for you guys. A 360, hold on, let me zoom in. Okay. Three, two, one. I mean, I saved myself 10 pound, 15 pound. If you convert it to dollars, it's like 20 bucks or 25 bucks. I mean, guys, if you do learn how to cut your own hair, it's so much easier. So, yeah, this is me giving, like, showing you guys how to cut your own hair or how I cut my own hair. And I mean, guys, pre it, guys. So, usually I shave this up. Oh, I didn't even fade the sideburns, but. You know what I mean, guys, if you learn how to cut your own hair, anytime you can give yourself a trim, anytime you can make adjustments to your trim, so, yeah, I mean, guys, tell me what you think about the trim, so comment below, rate it from 1 to 100, if you don't rate it, 100, I'm joking, so guys, this is the cut, and I mean, look at the shape of it, even though I use a little bit of hair fibers, I mean, even if I didn't, it's still sharp, guys, you saw it before I put it on. And then guys, hopefully I'll get a beard soon. Guys, I'm open for sponsorships, so I'm checking. I'm um, anytime, but um guys I mean pre it and then the top hopefully I'll get I'll get it done soon because right now it's a mess and this guys it's 6 30 now I remember I started at 5 so that took an hour and a half especially when I'm recording as well that's why it took longer but if I was doing it just like cutting it normally it's 45 minutes and out so yeah I mean I'll show you and, Usually if you want some help just message me and then I'll be able to help you with it. Just message me on Instagram guys, my Instagram is in the comment I mean description box below. It's FJ Cuts and then add my Snapchat at Philip Morales. Emails are down there as well. So yeah, I mean this is the final product. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember 50 likes, I'll do another video of other fading techniques. Um 100 likes I'll do a, 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 a what's it called how to make a self-cut system and then 150 likes I'll go 150 likes go back and you'll be to see it. and uh, yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did hit like if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe 
And yeah, I mean, guys, it's been a good video. It's gonna be a long video, but hope you guys did learn something new. And peace.